previously. I don't, I don't know how to, how do I, how do I, how do I do? And so we go. Hello friends, my name's Lorraine, welcome back to Paper Mario! We have the tornado jump. So like the um, kind older brother that I am, I am gonna knock Luigi off his high horse. It won't, it won't let me. Hello. Oi, hanging around up high was sure was nice. A great view and everything. Uh, never mind. Say, are those no boots? They look really flashy. Now you'll be a better jumper. Luigi, you sound weird. Are you okay, brother? Anything else over here? Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. Let's check out this house real quick. I haven't been in here in a while. Coins are- oh, Jesus. Uh, 12 or 50. Hmm. I have not found Chuck Quiz since I found him the first time. Uh, -da 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 -da. Okay. Little power bounces? Why is that a thing? What's this? Oh. Hey Mario, how do you do? I'm Little T, just a little toad. I live in Toad Town. I've been training at the dojo so I can save Princess Beach. I'll write to you again. Bye. Hello, Mario and Vanity. Check Christmas, lovely assistant. Thanks for participating in our quiz show. Our ratings are due to root for other star pieces helping you. Please keep coming back until you answer the last question. I'll choose one. Vanity. You rat, Mario. How dare you embarrass us? I'll never forget what you did. Red. Hey, watch your back when you wake up all good night black. I'm gonna make you cry, green. You better sleep with one eye open, pal. Yellow. We shall return, the Koopa Bros. All right, Ninja Turtles. Dear Mario, thank you so much for taking care of our fuzzy problem. We, the Koopa Troopas in the village, really appreciate what you've done for us. We must apologize for not rewarding you with anything, but we are simple Koopas. Please drop by the village whenever you like. Anytime, it'd be our honor. Best of luck from us all. Sincerely, Koopa Troopas at Koopa Village. I've heard that many stories about your deeds. People speak well of you. It comforts me to know that Bowser's creatures no longer leave the ancient ruins. Unfortunately, some relics are missing. This is a shame. I've heard that a Koopa was wandering around the ruins. That sounds very suspicious. You should be careful if you meet any suspicious types. Anyway, I must go. I look forward to hearing from your great tales again. Mustafa. How are you, dear boy? I've just finished my exhausting research of the ruins found by my unwavering efforts. Sadly, I did not find any treasures as valuable as I had hoped. I will press on, though, old chap. There are treasures hidden all over the world. I hear them calling my famous name, asking for me to dig them up. To Mario. Are you and Gambario doing okay? I'm fine. Oh, this is Gambario, by the way. Are you having an exciting adventure? Is Gambario being a hero, or is he just goofing off? You know, I sometimes go shopping on the Toad Town of Law. Maybe you'll see you there. I'd really like to hear some of your exciting stories. I can't wait, really. You can beat up Bowser, I know it. Kumbaria. Hi there, Mario. Are you eating regularly? You know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. This cookbook you gave me really comes in handy. I already know a lot of recipes, but with this book, I can cook a world of new dishes. I want to tell you about the latest dish I've been cooking. It's unique. It takes a fire flower and an egg to fix it. When I first made it, it blew me away. It might help you on your adventures. Please come visit and bring those ingredients. Tasty. How are you all been smashing our trust? I'd just like to thank you for helping with the nasty volcano business. Of course, I'm sure you're well aware of my own heroic role in the final f fracas. I've lately worried about my dear wife. How she must worry about me as I break danger. Perhaps it is time I returned home for a while. Feel free to stop by for a spot of tea, Colorado. Dear Mario, the volcano stopped erupting. Please come back and visit. The village leader wants to see you too. Everyone does. And we want to play with you. We bet you've been on all kinds of wild adventures. Remember to bring your stories. The Yoshi kids. Ralph? Hey, big guy. How you doing? Ralph at the bad shop here. Thanks a bunch for shopping at my place. You're a cool customer. To show my gratitude, I'll be waiting for you with all my stock 0% off. Ralph. Okay. Cool. Oh, I found Minty, by the way. She, um... She was the girl tending the garden. I'm an idiot. What is this? Nothing in here. Yeah, I'm dumb. But anyways, we've got a 
chivalrous city to be to be to? Sometimes my words don't make any sense. Get to. Shivering city to get to. That's what I meant. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go this way. Because, like, this is much easier to get to. <coughs> hey, Rip Cheeto. Do, 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 do. There's just so much sewage everywhere, and I'm just walking straight on through all of it. Oh, can jump up here. Okay. All right, let's do this. Ooh, I like the music. Ooh. Well. Ah. Hell yeah. Hmm. I don't want to upgrade. Upgrade Paracarry. I don't really like Lack like, very much. You upgrade this party member? Yes. <laughs> Two left! <laughs> Pardon me. Hmm. Paracarry is upgraded to Ultra Rank. I feel like I'm missing one. Whatever. Cause like, let me see something real quick. No, that's not what I meant to do. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eh. I'm sure we'll find them all before we leave. Is there anything this way? There is not anything this way. Okay. <sighs> Chapter 7, The Star Spirit on Ice. Aw, this place is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is the one where I get to play a detective and they think I murder someone. Sorry. Didn't mean to, like, ruin it. Hey you, you have a third degree card. I've got a third degree card too. Cool, we have the same ranking. We're equals. Um, who do I have to deliver to here? This music is so adorable. Letter to Frosty in Starborn Valley. Okay, this is Shiver City. I need to get to Frosty. Hi! City's becoming pretty dangerous lately. I saw this totally suspicious stranger running around just a short time ago. He seemed to be searching for someone. I didn't like his looks. I wonder where he got off to. I'm just walking into this random person building. Hi! Starborn Valley and Shiver Mountain are both near here. But you better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. But I like how I dress. Shut up, keep! Oh, ooh, I can buy life shrooms here. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh. Can I. Ah. Hello. I'm gonna check this live shroom. Yes. Uh, ooh. Check this bubbleberry. <laughs> uh, check this blueberry. Uh, blueberry. Uh, check this yellowberry. And a shooting star. Pelagero. No, that's all. Okay. And a maple syrup. I think we're good. Bye. Hello. Hiya. Starburn Valley? Oh, sure. At least from here in the city. But you have to be careful. I have a um, good fit. There's lots of scary monsters between here and there. The thought makes me shiver. It seems like all I hear are these days are frightening rumors. What shiver is it coming to? Sleepy. <sighs> okay. Hi. 
I saw this really big guy, guy around here the other day. He was shouting like, Oh, it's freezing! And then he was going, No, Mario! Who was that nut? I don't know. It was not me. Hey, Mario. Hey, Mario. How could I be calling for myself? Hey. Pingy, pingy, penguin pop. Feel the rhythm stop and hop. Do the pingy, penguin hop. All the snowmen in a line. A bucket hat fits super fine. Eyes and noses looking cool. Bring a star for you, pingy fool. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone for shaved ice treats, strawberry flavor, maybe watermelon, or maybe my personal favorite, tangy tangerine. Oh, I love frozen treats. Wait, are you actually like selling that stuff? Because I would be more than happy to take it. Ooh. Wait, why can I get up here? I feel like I'm getting up here for a reason. Ooh. I'm on top of the house. Oh my god. Don't drop me, please. Oh, I'm in this house. Oh, there's no door to this house, is there? Ooh. Change the sound effects. Yeah, let's try it on. As long as it costs zero. If it doesn't cost zero, I don't want it. I have so many badges. Okay. I know I don't like that. Let's try this. Damn Yoshi. <laughs> ah. I want it. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna be a Yoshi. Ooh. That's the sound of Yoshi makes, right? Oh, that's amazing. Hi. Really shady individual came into the city recently. He was screaming up the top of his lungs and running around. It was really odd. I think something strange is going on in our peaceful city. Hi. How's it going? Hey! Hey! Oh, we have a guest! Welcome, you poor man! He must be freezing! If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room! Please go right in! Thank you, I will. Oh shit! There's a dead penguin in here. No reply. My penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He's got a memo in his hand that says, Hair away. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Oh! Dear, you know you got your cold you sleep there. I think he is dead. Oh! Help somebody, anybody! My husband's dead! He's been murdered! It's a penguin murder mystery! Oh god, what do I do? What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. I need you to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead! Look at him lying there! My darling husband, somebody clip this flippers. By Puffin, you're right. The mayor has been murdered. This is likely a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But, madame, if I may ask, who owners would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him, right there, that man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey, you, mustache, are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? I did not do it. Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I uh, saw it with my own eyes. Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. I do not know what you are talking about. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. What? Mario didn't do it. He's obviously innocent. Hmm. If you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with the backroom murder case. Oh, I've never been trained for this. A backroom murder case, a high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, one for the, what's more for the record, you swear you didn't do this? Yes, I swear, I didn't do this. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. I will do that. I'll write off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. I can do that. What is this in this present? <laughs> I forgot I changed my sound effects. Uh, 
Mary replied, for being was body doesn't budge an inch. What? What this says? Remember when it ends, says Herringworth. You killed him, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. When I saw a stranger like you out here at such a remote place, I knew that you must be up to no good. Oh, the horror. My poor, poor penguin kids. Forgive me for letting this murderer in the house. Oh, shut up, you stupid bitch. Claiming that I am the murderer, you were so nice to me up until I walked into the room. Hi. Ha! I'm not gonna help you. I don't socialize with murderers. Get away from me. Oh, damn it. Hi. Your penguin was murdered. In his back room, and no one has the slightest idea who did it. Oh, it can't be. It's like one of Herringway's mystery novels. Oh, for the love of fuck. How could such a terrible thing happen in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said it was the man with the mustache who did it. And he seemed to be such a gentleman, too. Still, I guess he can't trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. Er, how terrifying. It just goes to show you that you can never trust the first impression of people. You guys are on top of a star piece. Herringway? Why, he's a mystery novelist who lives in the city. You suspect Herringway? Nah, it couldn't be him. He and the mayor are friends. Hi. You, penguin killer! You just keep your distance. What's that gleam in your eye? No! Ah, I'm gonna be a murderer if I can please somebody help me! These people are fucking ridiculous. Why the hell would I come to the city just to murder a bunch of penguins? Herringway? Yes, of course I know him. Everyone in the city knows about him. He's a world famous mystery novelist. You think Herringwell killed Mary Penguin? Hmm, that sounds nuts, but you might be onto something. Herringway does know everything about crimes and criminals. And he seems to have mysteriously disappeared. I need to drink of my tea. Oh my god, I have a headache. It's not even really a headache, it's just an ache right here. I don't know what's up with that. Oh. Alright, let's go find the murderer. Hiya. Anyway, yeah, sure, he lives right next to the lake. This house is always empty, though. Who knows where he is? What? Herringwell might be a murderer? No way. That can't be. He's a really good friend of the mayor's. He'd have reason to have, to have a reason off, unless there was some super secret reason. Ever since I started reading Herringway's mystery novels, I suspect the unexpected. Well, there's nobody in here anymore. Hey, yeah. Hey, you have a third degree card. You got a third degree card? Okay, yep. Okay, you do not even care about the murder. You just care that I'm a black belt. Hey. Look, I'm not selling anything to Mary Penguin's killer. Get out of here, will you? Fuck off. Everybody in this town thinks I'm a fucking murderer. What the hell did I do to deserve this? Fucking save my poor goddamn it. Let's be out of the city. Better show some evidence if you're really not the one that killed Mary Penguin. So then I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from the spot. Oh no, sorry. I'm serious now. There's no use trying to move, move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. Fucking move. The stupid fucking people. Hi. Huh? You look okay to me, Mario. Are you sure you feel like taking a nap? Not now. Hope to see you again. Haven't you heard? I'm a murderer, apparently. There's a rumor that you murdered Mary Penguin. Did you really do it? I don't think you did. I bet that was that crazy guy I saw running around here the other day. He was weird. He don't look so weird. Thank you. Somebody believes in me. Hey. This is Hangway's house. He's a novelist. Anyway, should be in there, but I haven't seen him lately. It's very peculiar. Hey. You hear that shiver city ice skating is the first thing that comes to mind. Well, skiing says too, but don't put a monster's on the loose. It's scary out in the snow, so city skating will go, yeah. Hey! There's a there's a thing here. Ah! I got a cat. I got a key for some reason. I'm guessing it's to that door over there, but we'll see. Hey, yeah. I said I don't talk to penguin killers. Uh, hello? You're the number one suspect in the mayor's murder. You can't leave the city, not until you prove you're innocent. I have a fucking job to do. I have to save the city. Do you guys not know who I am? I'm Mario. What is that? 
Spellings in warehouse. Someday could get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. I can't believe I lost it. I ought to retrace my steps. Hey, listen, if you find a key anywhere, let me know, okay? I have another key, but can I open the door instead? Wait, I can't see anything in this goddamn house. house is annoying as hell. Okay. Ah. No, I don't want to talk to you. Stop it. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Right, open the door. There's a thing to jump on the roof. Okay. What is even happening in this city? Down the chimney I go. Oh. What in the... Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Can I, can I? I wish I could talk to you. That'd be nice. Me? I'm Harryway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? What? Mary Peagle is murdered and I'm the chief suspect. I wish I knew what you were saying. Come on, you stupid thing. Come on. What is happening? Oh. Hello? I think I broke it. Uh, you're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop it in the bear's house. Engage stairs. Oh. All right then, come on, let's go to the mayor's house. I do not like this house. I can't see where I'm going. I am very obviously in the store. Let me in. Let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Motherfucker. Oh, you again. Have you come up with have you come up with anything? Hmm? Say, isn't that thing behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? Yes, it is. I think you better do him. What what? Mary Penguin was cut you a piece of paper that let had Herringway written on it. Bah, if that were true, I certainly would have noticed it. Mm, he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course. It's a message about his death. His last breath, the mayor's told us the murderer's identity. Yes, that's what I thought exactly. So, Mr. Herringware, you're the cold-hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Mm, yes, yes, you were good friends. Aha, but that was just a cover so no one would suspect you of your heinous crimes. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery. Oh, come on, really? You simple, simple penguin. I'd never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. Didn't have time to sneak over here to kill a man penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. I did not deny anything. This penguin murder mystery is getting more and more intriguing all the time. Uh, oh my aching ouch. Eek! My husband's returned! He's a ghost! Eek! Oh good gracious. Hello everyone. What's going on here? But, Mayor, we thought you were dead. Our back room murder mystery was a wash. What a plot twist. Huh? What are you talking about? 
Um, I think I seem to remember going to the shop to get the souvenir for Herringway. Oh, yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what's happened. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. So a town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish I could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But, Mayor, here we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so sorry. Ha, <laughs> I thought it was rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now, and the mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. The Cindy Patty cared that I was the one that was... Uh, Hello, sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? You want me to hike over to Starburn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You'd better bundle up. Thank you. Everybody seems to think I mattered with you, and you just fell and hit your head on the floor. It's a goddamn shame. Can you guys move off of this platform, please? The mayor wasn't murdered. He just whacked his head on the floor and fainted. That means the mayor with the mustache wasn't evil after all. Yeah, you're right. Hi. Stop this case. The criminal is back to seven years from Toad Town. Ha ha ha! Who would have believed the mystery in this sleepy city? It's quite peaceful. I love it. Going home now. I'm going to read a novel. Thank you, you. Much better. Okay. Let's go save the game. I think I've had enough of this penguin murder mystery for now. I think I have some ideas for my own book. Alright. Save complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Then that's signing out.